Armed with a rock-solid plan, a cheap stun gun, and a getaway car just a few feet away, a quick-acting criminal robs a Brinks employee in broad daylight and to this point has gotten away with a very large amount of cash and checks. This was not on impulse. This was well scouted out. There, there's no doubt in my mind. This, this could have been um, weeks, if not months, of preparation. Shortly after 4.30 p.m. on March 27th, surveillance cameras captured images of a suspicious male standing in front of the public supermarket at Cape Coral Parkway and Santa Barbara Boulevard on the Cape. He's dropped off by a dark SUV. Coincidentally, at the same time, the Brinks truck arrives for its scheduled money pickup. He at one point picks up a plant, and you can see his eyes. He picks the plant up, but he is, his eyes are fixed on that door the entire time. So yes, it's it very, very obvious that he is stalling. Once the Brinks employee walks out the door with a sack full of cash in hand, the unknown suspect follows him around the vehicle, hits him with a stun gun, then grabs the cash. Suspect runs around the corner and he has easy access right into the passenger side of the vehicle. After jumping into that black SUV, the suspect then drove across Santa Barbara Boulevard into this very well populated Cape Coral neighborhood. He then came to this canal bank where he threw the Brinks bag into the canal with all of his equipment, of course, minus the cash and checks. Detectives found the bag in the canal while canvassing the neighborhood. Inside it, they found all the tools necessary to pull off the robbery, including a temporary license plate which had been reported stolen the night before. They know the area, or they scouted the area very well. And then what they did is they went to this area to dump the items. Since the robbery occurred during such a busy time period, detectives are hopeful someone who may have witnessed the crime or seen the suspect before will come forward with whatever information they have. And for that information, Brinks is willing to throw in an extra $5,000 in reward money as an incentive to help catch the well-rehearsed robber. As little and unimportant as you think it is, we, it may be something that we are looking for. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.